Now let me tell you, stop, uh, shut up, hey, stop. Some of you don't have uh, a voter's card. Now let me tell you why. Yes, nobody would have suffered what you suffered. The humiliation you suffered, I know. Most of you don't know. And nobody would hear what you passed through. And I will stay in the party. But I will not leave. I will not uh, leave. I will stay there. I will fight the farmers. I will fight the hyenas. I will fight the scavengers. Agreement is agreement, yo, Jai. Agreement is agreement, yo. We talk something before now. You can't begin to nonsense. Agreement is agreement, yo. I am not blaming you. On principle, you should. But me, I will not leave this house. I will never allow Ambrobas to take over my house. I'm going to stay to chase away the Ambrobas. So, thank God, because if you have not left, you will not have realized your ambition to be able to save Nigeria. Now that I did not say he would be the one to save Nigeria. So, don't just go and scratch me now. That is his ambition. Do you understand me? That's his ambition. But whether he is the one, I do not know yet. But at that moment, time we will talk. So, everybody has his own strategy, has his own plans. I must confess to you and say clearly, you are a very humble person. You are a very humble person. That does not mean you are the one to save Nigeria. You are a very straightforward person. You are a man of integrity. My quarrel with people, one thing I don't like in my life, I discussed something with you this afternoon. Before 7 p.m., you have changed. I cannot stand it. And you are not that kind of person. When you ran for 2018 with your boss, who is the PDP candidate, I challenge you people that 2018. And you know, I was the highest supporter of you people in 2019. Even though you your boss didn't see me again. Yes, but you, you are coming, but that does not mean that you and your boss saw me again. That is the truth. I stood firm for you and your boss to win election. And it was in my state that the ruling party never had 25% in the South South. It was my state. And I want to keep that record straight. What pains me in this country is that some of them here, all of us, I pity the poor Nigerians. I pity them. Some people come to tell me, suppose to some person, I said, do you know him? When I hear people go to town hall meetings and they say all kinds of things they say, they say they will implement restructuring. They will make sure that every zone will have a member in the security council. That it is not good for one zone to produce all the security chiefs. You see, it is not good, but it is good for one zone to occupy all party positions. You see, you see, you see how Nigeria is. You see how we are. I will implement that every zone will be represented. I will implement. That is town hall meeting. That is debate on television. Because everybody wants Nigerians. Oh, yes, he's saying the right thing. But no Nigerian wants to say, let us start from this one now. Let us start from this one. Starting from this one, we will know what you will do when you get there. It's not true. Don't be so. 
Start from the party. Yendeba, Yendeba. Yendeba, 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 Yendeba. So, so, this time I watch the television. I told my wife, I said, come, why Nigerians so gullible? Anything they hear, they take. Anything they hear, look. If you want to say, I will implement this, I will do this, that's okay. This one you have now, start from here. No, so start from this one before we know that. If you cannot do this one, now can you get there when you're there? Nobody should deceive you. Nobody should deceive us. Do you understand what I'm saying? I've not started politics. What I'm doing now is project uh, commissioning. When we start politics, we will talk. Do you understand what I mean? I will tell Nigerians who are who. There are so many people who have left office for years. You will see those who are surrounding them. Who have, who have broke. 